the money. All right, registration screen is all well and good, but it's only half of the story. The registration screen is <laughs> registration screen is basically where you're defining the amount that the student owes you. So you put in the fee, you put in the adjustments, you uh, you indicate the quantity of what you're buying, and then payments is where you collect the money. So again, the payments button is the, is the big one. Uh, we kind of went through that a minute ago. Lori, remind me to talk about group uh, or the, the number of seats in the class. All right. Uh, payment type. When you are in a payment screen, uh, the thing to kind of watch for is your information up at the top, adding payment, editing payment. Uh, Lori will highlight this later. On a virgin registration, when you hit uh, payment info, it automatically assumes you're going to want to add a payment. And it puts you in avoid status, which says you haven't told us how you're going to pay. So <clears throat> you go in and pick the payment type. Uh, and again, note about the default amount that's owed. The default amount is always the total due for the class. But again, you can modify that. You can change that. A couple other things. Note, you can make multiple payments. Each different payment for a single registration be a different method. You can pay part by uh, payment, pay part by billing. You can make payments by different people. And we've shown you earlier, you can use the links. Firm name. Uh, look up firm. Look up name. Clone previous <clears throat> payment status uh, to bring that in and of course you can add notes. Payment details, uh, you fill in the blank, uh, you'll note down here the other categories you can set up to six different payment methods. You can define them uh, based on what types of methods you might use at your institution and that is set up under preferences payment tab. And then when you're finished putting in the payment detail, uh, you can, uh, rather than hitting uh, OK close and going back to the registration screen, there is a one button, if you would, checkout, uh, which is print receipt and close will save the payment and push you to the spot where you print the confirmation for the student. And so that's a, a one button does all uh, kind of an element there. And this is a caution note. Uh, multiple payments, especially if you are going back to edit a registration that already exists and where you might have already had a payment, you got to make sure if you're adding a new payment to hit the Add button because otherwise you're basically editing or changing the existing payment. <clears throat> I think I can illustrate that if I go in. And I'm going to get back to a classic lookup. I'm going to look up Mr. Blow. I'm going to click on edit for a registration. I'm going to find a registration where there's a payment, maybe on record. Uh, well, here's one that's a payment. Uh, when you go into the payments button now, <clears throat> you'll note at the top it tells you we're now in edit mode on this payment and there is one total payment on the record. So if I was really wanting to add a payment now for this person, and I thought I'm going to make this in cash, first of all, there are several warnings that go on. Do you want to change a payment to have an existing payment? You say, wait a minute, I'm adding. I mean, uh, no, no. So then you want to hit the Add button, <clears throat> and now we've got uh, the option here to uh, create the new payment to, to pay off this particular record. Um, okay, I'm going to roll back now to, I'm going to add a new registration for Mr. Blow now into one of the 12S Chuck's webinar class. Now, um, one of the things that is possible, and I didn't talk about this, is that there is the option to be able to say, how many seats does Joe Blow want to buy for this webinar class? And typically here it is that Joe wants to send three people to this class, but he doesn't know the other names of the two staff he wants to send. 
could be Lori, it could be Matthew, it might be AJ. So he said, but I want to hold three seats. So you can type in a quantity. Staff can type in a quantity. It will multiply the dollar amounts. And you can make that payment and then later on go in and edit that registration and then assign it to individual people. 